welcome to New Zealand and my vlog series about living here in a van. Hello, it is Victoria Rose here. Today is the much anticipated and awaited van tour. I'm really excited to do this because I specifically got this van because it's super aesthetic and because we wanted a home we could take with us. Let me show you the ins and outs of this van. But this is the front seat, so this is the front seat. This behind us is the home area. Nothing much to see up here. And then chargers, speaker, charging. We are in Queenstown, New Zealand right now. So we have some views going on back here. But let me show you our home and where we're gonna be staying for the next couple weeks. We wanna make some coffee first and I'll show you that in the kitchen. We're gonna make our own coffee and then I'm gonna show you the rest of the place. So let's go around to the kitchen area, the stove, and pop in the, what is it? Gas? This is Jo. She's my friend and travel partner here in New Zealand. Go ahead. Our suitcase is like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Don't own this much stuff. We are minimalists. <laughs> it looks so much better like on the video than it is in real life. I decided to not make it look better on video than in real life because let's keep it real, okay? We're new to van life, so we didn't exactly know how to work this thing, but spoiler alert, we did figure it out eventually. Okay, I lied, we don't actually know how to use this thing very well, so we have a backup plan for our coffee. We found this. We're gonna make the coffee in here, so we're just gonna put this in the front. I'm gonna show you the real experience of living in a van, not like these YouTubers and Instagram models show you, because it's definitely, van living is very, um, you have to, it's it's hard. It's not very easy to make it look, okay. Hopefully this doesn't take too long to boil all of this water. <laughs> While this is heating up, I guess um, I'll show you where our pantry is. That's fine. All right, that's cooking. Good, now let's, uh, let's go show the pantry. So that's the stove anyways. That's our demonstration of the stove. So if you come in here, I'll show you our pantry. Joe got these, they're too sweet for me. But we have like rice cakes, we have hummus, we have, she has peaches. We're gonna use this, um, I got egg whites. A lot of my footage was ruined by wind noise, so I will spare your ears and try to voice over as much as possible. It's a little bench, but it has a bunch of stuff in it. And we're gonna, I'll show you guys more of that later, but I'm just getting the coffee comes out. Cause we need the coffee first. We're trying to do like a budget type of trip. We don't want to go to any coffee shops or buy any coffee, so we're trying to do things ourselves because we're both strong, independent women. <laughs> but like three times already today, we're like, we need a van. <laughs> it smells good. Let's check on the water. I feel it, it's warm ish. This is a really cute van, and if you're interested in renting it out, if you're in southern New Zealand, you can check the links below for that. Veggie delights. It's at least it's not cold coffee. So we should sit on a rock or something and drink our coffee. Woo! 
Okay, so we're inside our van. It is really, really windy out, so it's hard to enjoy life out there right now. I feel like a voiceover would be more good. Look out the window. Yes, drink your coffee in front of Yes! That's the aesthetic we're going for. Life videos, so like I'm vlogging while I'm doing life. But these types of videos I actually have to like think about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, this takes a long time. Yeah. No, I'm laughing because like I'm gonna like take the noise out. It'll oh, look yeah, like okay. I'm <laughs> the pantry. I'm really good with these tour videos. I know you guys know. Oh, that's what I was trying to decide. I was trying to decide if I should do a voiceover or not. Okay, let's get into the actual tour. I know it's kind of unconventional, but here we are. Underneath the sink, you can keep water. We didn't actually use the sink while we had the van, but it's an option. We also stored all our avocados and apples and stuff, and it became our fruit bowl, really, which is nice. This is how you open and close the blinds when you sleep, and up above, our, it's kind of like a little spice rack thing, along with twinkle lights. Very aesthetic and Instagrammy. The van also came with some extra propane, some books, some games to play, and everything you would need, and also a broom to clean. Thor's, Thor's gonna put it on you. Yeah. <laughs> if you turn around here, I'm gonna show you our little thing full of stuff. <laughs> it comes with toilet paper apparently uh bags everything you need for kitchen stuff dish soap and silverware utensils and then i don't know what was in this short stuff <laughs> and then also the pots and pans and dishes but that's like the general tour i'm going to take you over to our living area slash bed area slash the rest of the van <laughs> we're only allowed to watch lord of the rings and data permits us to only be able to watch like two minutes of Lord of the Rings per day. Yeah. Because we're in New Zealand. <laughs> Jeez. It's the wind. Puts my TV back. We're not really much into watching things, but if you guys are into that type of thing, we don't have the data for that. It could be watched from here. Let me demonstrate if, if someone were to be watching something. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna roll off of the cliff, maybe. This is, you guys should appreciate how aesthetic we're trying to make this. Like, if you see out here, I don't know if you guys can see, but down there is, it's a long way to fall. When we sleep, we bring this down. This, this comes out as like, it's like a, not even a twin, it's like a, a single. I'm single. pretty sure it's a single. It's like baby bed. Da -da -da -da. Mm -hmm. And then also this thing just goes right up whenever we're driving. This thing comes down too. When we're driving like that. Alright, so now I guess we'll do the outside. I cannot tell you how windy it was up here. It's actually terrifying. This whole tour, I was terrified that the van was going to blow over or we would get blown off the ledge. Underneath here is where the cooler and lawn chairs and etc. stuff is kept. Like this, science. that cliff <laughs> and came back down to where it's not as windy because that was terrifying. We drove off the cliff. Yeah, Give her a we... second, she'll get the joke eventually. <laughs> I want to sometimes. <laughs> so we, ha we have to put, fold the bed up and take the bed down to save space. I'm gonna show you I got, I got fuck it all. Have a good day. Bye. 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 The place up there is actually a filming spot of Lord of the Rings. That was one of the spots they filmed something at. I don't know what it was exactly, but some some fellowship of something. The Argonoth on the Anjuan River, yeah. whatever scene that was. We specifically put the stuff in here for the looks of it, but we're gonna have to probably take it out because every time we drive, it just like spills everywhere. This is how it is whenever it is just folded up, which is good. But since there's two of us, we're gonna show you how we sleep in here. Woo! Very aesthetic. 
energetic and uh, perfect. perfect, the perfect life, you know, living the dream. Got it? Yeah. And then, yeah, she just did that like that. So we have space. I love this window and our little kitchen. Leave a comment below if you would ever do van life and where your ideal place to van life would be. So this is the bed. That tailbone did that you? Hurt. Hurt. In the morning, I'm just like this under the yeah. tiny blanket. I thought she left because I stole all the blankets. Yeah, it's actually really, really cool. <laughs> last night, let's let's demonstrate how we slept last night. I'll show you guys how she made me sleep. I had no pillow either. I had the the hard pillow. I'm just like this. Yeah. You're so small. <laughs> so I had this little blanket, and then. And then uh, she she had she was up. Oh, I had all this. <laughs> she, she had all of that. I was like, oh shit. Yeah, it's like it's like, spacious enough. It's not it's not too bad. And plus, it gets really 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 cold. So having like the body heat of two people in a small space is good. But I I feel like he didn't produce enough body heat last night. <laughs> Do better next time. <laughs> I just picked these today. Welcome to yeah. our crib. Yeah. So we close these at night. So finding a bathroom is difficult and we also will po probably park this in campsites. And that way we can hook up to electricity and also have bathrooms and showers. But that's how we live in our little camper van. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. If you wanna see more, if I forgot anything, you can comment below and I'll answer questions. If you guys like this types, these types of videos, leave a thumbs up and I'll leave Joe's uh, Instagram link if you're interested in following her too. Very, very much. Stay extraterrestrial. I'm gonna take a nap now. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>